Hey guys, Frostman here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video of a project that I've been working on uh, to try to circulate some of that cool air in the house. Um, it being summertime, definitely, you know, there's parts of the house that are warm. Um, believe it or not, the basement actually uh, is several degrees warmer. Being a techno geek, it definitely um, has a lot of warm air downstairs, so I needed to get that air to circulate. Get some of that cool air from upstairs where the swamp cooler's going, um, and just kind of go forward from there. So, at any rate, um, so what I ended up doing was um, I uh, tried to find a thermostat that I could actually set a timer on. The problem is, though, uh, I don't have enough wires going up to the thermostat. Um, I just have just the regular two wire to turn on the heater, and that's it. Um, so it definitely didn't work out. And one solution I had was to put a uh, switch right on the actual uh, HVAC system to just turn on and off the blower. It worked fine. The problem is it wouldn't it would never turn off. It would just stay on all the time until you turn it off, which works fine, but you get to that point where you're not really adding anything. So um, that and it just runs all day if you let it. So anyway, um, I had a couple of Raspberry Pis laying around. Um, the one that I used is just the regular model uh, B plus. Um, so, um, let me show you what I have going on with that at least. Uh, I only used just a handful of the pin pinouts on it. Um, I used uh, uh, pin 2, pin 6, 12, and 16, uh, which translates into the uh, 5 volt GPIO 18, uh, GPIO 23, and uh, ground, which is 6, uh, pin 6. So, um, anyway, and then on the actual relay pack, you'll see that there's uh, also four pins on it as well. Um, I got the dual relay pack, um, so it actually has two triggers and two actual relays on it. So it's uh, ground, trigger one, trigger two, and uh, constant, um, which translates into uh, ground to pin six. Trigger one goes to pin 12, which is that GPIO 18. Um, in trigger two, um, goes to uh, pin 16, which is the uh, GPIO 23, um, and uh, VOC, which is a 5 volt, because it's a 5 volt uh, relay pack, which goes to pin 2 on the actual Pi. Um, I used a breakout panel, or rather a breakout cable, to an actual breadboard. You can go directly to the Pi. Um, the pins are the same, pin 2, 12, 16, and 6. So. Um, on the other side of the actual relay pack, um, there are these these two uh, pin wires here. Um, they actually go directly to the HVAC system itself, um, which go to pins R and G, which only activate the blower. Um, that's all I needed it for. Um, I wanted to have something set up for the secondary relay, but uh, I'll worry about that later. So um, at any rate, let me show you what I had going on here. Um, I figured since everything is going to be ran by root, I just left it in root. So this is assuming um, your Pi is on your wireless, you've already got it configured on your wireless, or you have it set up through um, uh, Ethernet, um, SSH'd into it. And I apologize, I use VIM, so uh, if you're familiar with any other text editor, um, I'm sorry, this is what I use. So um, I have three files here. Um, the one in particular you need to see, though, is motor on. Um, motor off basically just runs through it and kills everything off. Um, so in the script, pretty straightforward. Um, runs GPIO or imports GPIO. Um, I have date and time set um, as well as um, sleep. Um, I disabled warnings. I didn't want anything displaying on the on the console as well as I didn't want anything showing up on the log. Um, and then I also set the mode to uh, GPIO BCM, which actually translates to the actual GPIO pins, not the physical pins. Um, so GPIO is 18, so you'll call 18, not, you won't say pin 12. So um, anyway, um, designating them as an output. So pin 18, or GPIO 18 and GPIO 23 are going to be outputs. Um, and then this is just kind of the uh, mess right here where I just have it doing a while loop so it turns everything on on the initial displays in the log um, the uh, 
the, that it's actually turning on, um, and then you're actually triggering them on, which in this case, the relay pack actually is a negative trigger, so you actually want to do a low input. Um, and so I have it to 18 and 23. Again, this is your trigger one and then your trigger two. Um, I have it set to just do a sleep for 10 minutes, uh, which is 600 seconds. Uh, after that time, and then it, then it goes on, it says I'm just turning everything off, and then it cycles through everything the same way, just backwards. Um, so pin 18, you'll set it to high, which will actually turn it off, um, and then it sleeps for uh, 18, 1800 seconds or 30 minutes. And it just runs through all of that until you actually kill it or turn off the pie. Um, where I put it, um, I have it set to be in the rc.local file. Um, just worked out at least better for me. I figure since I'm running everything as root anyway. Um, this, if you're familiar with what the actual console looks like, this is where um, when you log in on the Pi, uh, right before you log in on the Pi, it'll actually say your IP address is this. This is the part where it actually executes that. So you can put that um, that Python script right in there. Um, so you just do you know slash root and then the location of your actual Python script, um, and then you can actually run a log. Um, in my case, I just have it running to the uh, cron log that's in there, and it works good for me. And I do that so that I can actually see whether or not it actually is running, um, running at the times that I wanted it to, um, as well um, if if it's running at all. And you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell by looking at the actual log itself um, when it's running and when it's turning on and off. And you can actually see uh, sequentially what it's actually running. So um, hopefully that was beneficial to some people. Uh, definitely suits what I need it for, at least for the time being. So anyway, um, there you go. Frostman here. I'll be 1010. I'll be on the side. Clear.